Hey everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank with a quick tip on the FS700 and character generation on the outputs from the HDMI and the HDSTI. I've been getting calls about this recently because folks have been on set, they actually want characters on their uh, monitor and they can't seem to get them to display. So I want to go through some of the menu settings and the display set that will help you troubleshoot this. Okay, I'm going to go into my display set, and the first uh, command that we want to be aware of is the one at the very bottom, and that is the display out command. As you see, you have two settings. You have all output, which means that I'm going to have characters on my LCD. I'm also going to have it on any of the outputs from the camera. Now, if I go to LCD panel, you'll see that my screen instantly goes black here. This is actually what we want when we're going to go to an external recorder. However, for our blog here today, I'm going to keep this on and we're going to go back up into our menu here. And the other one that we want to uh, pay attention to is the marker. Now, I'm going to turn this menu off for a second and you can see on the LCD and on my monitor output that you're looking at right now, you can see all the characters. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to turn that marker on. Let's say, for example, on the LCD panel, I want to see a crosshair. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to turn it on, and now I'm going to go back out of my menu. And on my LCD panel, I now have my uh, crosshair, as I wished, but she'll now notice the only thing I'm seeing on my monitor output is my timecode window. And if I hit the display button on my camera, it disappears completely, then I hit again and now my LCD panel on my camera only shows the crosshair and the media status. If I click one more time, I get my time code window back up. So I'm going to go into the display set. I'm going to turn marker off. Go out of my menus and now you'll see that the status of the camera is now displayed once again on my monitor output and it's also displayed on my LCD. There's also one other uh, menu option in here that I want to make you aware of, and that is the camera data display. Now right now I have it turned on, and basically what that means is that what I ask for in terms of display on the LCD is what I'm also getting on my monitor output. However, if I go into there and I select camera data display, I'm going to turn it off, go out of my menus, and now everything looks normal as usual. However, the exception to this is, now I'm gonna push my gain button. And you'll see that it disappears. I'm now going to engage my shutter speed button. You'll notice that it highlights so that I can manually change my shutter angle as I expect it to. I'm now gonna select that 180 shutter. But I'm gonna push the shutter button again. It highlights and then you see it disappears. Now I'm gonna go back in to my display set, camera data display, turn it back on, go out of here, and now you'll see that both the gain and the shutter are now in auto mode. Now you didn't see that when the ca camera data display was turned off. So I'm gonna go back into my gain, I'm gonna turn that off, and it's gonna default to what I manually set the gain to. I'm gonna hit the shutter button. It's gonna go into the manual mode where I can manually set this. I'm going to set it back by 180 shutter and I'm all set to go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.